Hello friends! Today I'm painting the head number 53 for the 100 heads challenge and this head is going to be more experimental than those that I did before. I want to work here mostly in pink tones and to make them juicy without making them way too bright, I will use some shades of green, which makes a nice contrast. Watch this video till the end and I will show you the complete palette I'm using here. The sketch I made for this artwork a few days before looked a bit too academic for me when I started painting. That's why during the process I felt I wanted to make it more free and add some more movement and stylization, even if I would sacrifice some proportions for this. In my case, it's really up to the mood. Some of my heads I try to make anatomically correct and close to the reference, and others I want to make more free and spontaneous. What I'm doing here right now is just throwing the colors on the canvas. As I mentioned before, I wanted to experiment here with pink tones and since I work with a limited palette, I mix shades close to each other. Actually, I use only one red as a base for all pinks. This allows me to keep all colors balanced. What brings the needed difference, though, is the temperature of the color. It also helps me to define the planes of the head. The surface I'm working here on is the unprimed paper for oil. I love its texture. However, to get my brush moving smoothly, I first need to cover it with at least a thin layer of paint. But not just any layer of any paint. Usually, I work a la prima, which means I should think up front that I won't cover the first layer completely. The colors I'm laying right now will be my playground, but in general they will stay visible till the end. So I try to make them beautiful beautiful from the very beginning. By the way, if you're interested in the paper I'm using here, it has this French name that I don't know how to pronounce correctly, so I simply leave the link in the description below. Now, one of the most common questions I get is what medium I use to thin down my paints. And I don't have one answer to this, since it seems to me I use a new medium every two months. For this particular piece I took good old linseed oil, mixing a very small amount of it into the paint mixtures. I used to paint with pure oil back in the art school days, and since then I've tried solvents, ready-made mediums, painting butter, liquid, non-toxic mediums from different brands, and I've even used varnish as a medium to paint with. What can I say? Experimenting is my way. Do you have one medium that you use all the time? Tell me in the comments. Of course, it's not always possible to follow the fat over lean rule once we don't use the solvent, but with mediums like Liquin, it's also not necessary anymore. But what I learned for sure is that if you want to have intense colors, no matter if they are bright or pastel, you shouldn't use too much medium. What usually happens to me is that, theoretically, I know I should use only 30% of medium and 70% of paint for a good mixture. But in the process, I very quickly lose the overview and finally get my paint way too thin towards the end of the painting. And the artists of academic schools usually say that during the process you should use less and less medium, so that in the end you work only with the paint pure. This way not only you will get rich colors, but also that tasty texture of oil paint that perfectly shows the movement of the brush. So for this portrait, since I thought to make it experimental anyway, I thought I would try to paint mostly with oil paints while using just a few drops of linseed oil. And it worked better than I thought it would, actually. Now, as you see, for a long time I don't really pay attention to the face features. I want first to work with the shapes, get the whole composition set in the format before moving to the details. This is the rule I follow in all my work, since composition of the shapes make the whole first impression of the artwork. More about what makes an artwork good, I tell in my online workshop Overcoming Art Block. Originally, the workshop is for people who want to start making more art, get a daily artistic routine and stop postponing it all the time. It consists of 13 practical exercises for getting better skills on daily basis, but also theoretical material in which I'm telling what makes an artwork look interesting and convincing. Follow the link in the description to learn more. 
I think making videos of the painting process is very useful for artists, or at least taking photos of the process. One of my biggest suffering while making art is that I'm often overdoing it and then feel mad at myself that I should have stopped earlier. Filming the process helps me to see better the moment I should have stopped or made something different. Actually, even since I've started making short videos for Instagram, it has already helped me with my overdoing. The goal in painting technique I want to reach is to keep colors vibrant. And it is impossible to get it once you start moving the brush back and forth for hours. The words said by one art teacher have really burned into my mind. He said, there must be spots in the painting that you touch only once. I think it is so true. Even with this portrait, the longer I do it, the less intense colors I get. But to get it good with one touch requires lots and lots of practice. Well, at least the process is really interesting and satisfying. Dear friends, I'd be happy if you hit the like button and leave a comment with your thoughts, because it helps to grow my channel. I wish you all an inspiring day!